Hey guys, what's up? This is Panzer Dragon, a top 100 challenger player in NA. And today we'll be doing a support tier list as I think people want to see where Braum fits in. And recently I think an old support has come back. And of course a new champion has been released, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so Zyra wasn't really picked often recently. Just because she got nerfed and then everyone stopped playing her. But suddenly, ever since All-Stars, people have started been playing her. And somehow her win rate has increased by a lot. Even though really nothing has changed about her. And the last time she was like picked, it was like in Season 3. But of course with the Frostwing item, I think she's going to be a really good support. Alright, so let's talk about her laning phase. I think her laning phase is really strong. She brings a lot of damage, a lot of CC. And I think it's really hard to focus someone because it's either you focus ADK or her and they both do a lot of damage. And of course if you kill Zyra, her plants are going to hurt you and of course when she dies, her passive might hurt you too. And the only thing I really think she lacks is mobility and of course escapes. So she's easily a target for her ganks. But then again, if you get in a 3v3 situation with your jungler plus their jungler, I'm pretty sure the team with Zyra will probably win. So yeah, I feel like she has a lot of presence in lane. And transitioning to mid game, I think her kit is really good as her ultimate is really good for peeling for her team. As anyone who wants to try and dive onto the AD carry will get knocked up by the Strangle Thorns. And of course her E can trap them up with the root, so your AD carry is safe while that Strangle Thorns is there. And of course she does contribute to the Wombo combo. And if she is ahead and gets Leandre's, she does a ton of damage. And yeah, she's just like anti-dive, especially with someone like Twitch or Jinx. You can easily protect divers like Jax from getting onto them. And recently I think people are starting to pick her up again. Alright, so at number 4 we do have Morgana. So Morgana is really strong, uh, as she does have really good all-in in lane. But of course her bindings are somewhat hard to hit. And if you don't land those bindings early, you can potentially be zoned. And so I wouldn't say her landing phase is that good. But she does have a pretty good all-in at level 6. And I don't think her strength is in the early game, I think it's more mid-game. I think she's really good at catching people out with her Q, saving people with her black shield, and overall she can initiate with her Q plus R combo, even if it's to catch someone or in a team fight. And of course if she did good in lane, she'll probably have a Zonia's, and that could be somewhat annoying to deal with. So yeah, I think her mid game is pretty good because she can catch and protect people, and her team fight presence is really strong, as well as giving someone a black shield like say Jax or Riven, and then they just can't be stopped because they're CC immune, which is actually a really good combo. And in late game she comes pretty good, she's got that high CC, can protect her AD carry the black shield, and can make unstoppable divers still. And at number 3 we do have Leona. Alright so I've always been a fan of Leona, I just love her when she's on my team and she does good in lane. Um, her mid game is really strong, her late game is super strong. The only flaw is she has a weak laning phase. And yes, um, if she ever makes it to mid game, late game without feeding laning phase, she's like one of my favorites to have on my team. And when mid game comes, I'd rather have a Leona than Thresh when mid game comes. Because she does so much damage, she provides so much CC, and she's really hard to kill. She can be someone's dive buddy, but there's obviously some things I don't like about her. If you're behind, and say you gotta be a little bit passive. Well you can't really do much because Leona is a really aggressive support and she doesn't really have that much defensive capabilities. And again her landing phase is kind of weak because she's vulnerable to poke and if you ever get zoned, Leona can't really do much. But again I love her mid game, I love her late game. If we ever get into team fights, she's the one support I love. Alright so number two we do have Thresh. Alright so again he's a really high skill cap champion and in higher ULO you'll see that Thresh's know what they're doing and most of the time you'll never see a bad Thresh. And obviously this is not a support you can just pick up, you'll need some practice with him. So in lower elo, so in lower elo, since people don't really have good mechanics or good decision making, I tend to stay away from this champion. Unless of course you actually played him a bit and know what you're doing. Again in higher elo, since everyone's a good Thresh, he's really good at what he does, he's got like everything as a support. He's got really good PO, he's got really good initiation, he can play passive, he can play aggressive. Like overall he's probably the best support that can do everything at a good level. In lane he could be aggressive, he can be passive, he can zone the enemy. And of course a Threshling is really hard to gank since he can flay you away. Lantern is AD carry out. And of course he adds so much to ganks as he can lantern his jungler in, flash flight, etc. And then when mid game comes, he's pretty good. He can pick people off, he can save people with his lantern. But in a teamfight setting I think Leon is a bit better. Just because she has more damage, more tankiness, and a bit more CC. And when Thresh goes in he's not as tanky as Leona so he can be bursted down easily. But again, he's like your support that can do everything. Alright, so number one, we do have Braum. So in my opinion, I think Braum is considered really OP. I think the numbers on him have to be toned down a bit, as I think his E aka his shield is really good. Um, basically, if you have 40% CDR, you can have it up for 4 seconds and have 40% damage reduction, while having 2 seconds of downtime and waiting for the cooldown to come back up, and then your 40% damage reduction shield is up, 
And this is basically like a level 1 Alistair alt, except better because you can block all the damage coming onto your AD carry or whatever and just peel for him. Second, the stun is really strong. So let me state this, that Braum is actually the best peeler in the game. Basically, if anyone tries to jump onto your AD carry, he will be stunned and he'll probably die to you and your AD carry. So say you have a Twitch or Jinx or someone like Vayne, and you can just protect them all day and they'll just do whatever the hell they want. And of course in a team fight, if you try and focus him, he's really tanky. Since he does have that damage reduction, and well basically you're actually forced to attack him since he does have the shield to block enemy projectiles. And so he's like the ultimate peeling machine. So his laning fate is more defensive, passive. It's a bit more better than Leona, since he can poke with his Q and trade with the enemy bot lane if that hits. And of course if your AD carry does get caught up by say a thresh hook, you can protect him with the shield and then be backed off. So I think his laning phase is a bit decent. And of course once mid game comes, no one can touch your carries. And he's also a pretty good diver if he dives in with Jax, as he does provide a lot of CC to follow up with. And I think a big point is that your AD carry can actually build full offensive, since literally you'll be a meat shield for your carry and just soak in all the damage. And so you have more damage in team fights. Overall, short summary is why I think he deserves a number one spot. I think the numbers on him are too high right now. He's really good at protecting whoever, he's really tanky, and his passive plus his Q actually has a fair bit of damage on it. So yeah, he just seems really strong right now, and is one of the most contested supports in solo queue. Thank you guys for watching, I'm Patrick Dragon, aka Luigi Dragon. Uh, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like if you like what I'm doing, as it does encourage me to do more videos like this, and also it'll help me keep going if I see progress in my channel. So every bit helps, and check out my other tier list to see what my opinion and insights are on other champions.